I love my job. I think this is the best job in the whole world. Because you know what, before this, I used to work at a bookstore, which was great except for the customers. <laughs> you know, asking me questions when I'm trying to read, excuse me. <laughs> This woman came in my store one time, said she was looking for a book, but could not remember the author or the title. <laughs> but said the cover was blue. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I know that book. We sold out. <laughs> I'm actually scared to have kids because my best friend gave birth to a 14 pound baby. Yes, yeah, so even the guys are like, oh no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Anything over five pounds, UPS better be bringing it. <laughs> now, I was in high school, I actually saw a, a video of a woman giving birth. Oh! I thought it was a scene out of Alien. <laughs> but you know what? At 15, that was the best birth control in the whole world. Because <laughs> after I saw that video, dating was not the same. I was like, a good night kiss? Mm -mm, I've seen the video. I know how this ends. I'm going to shake your hand. Good night. <laughs> I'm actually really glad that I saw the video because my mom is Jamaican and her idea of sex education was just to say to me, Leanne, me don't care how much a man says he loves you, you don't give up nothing. No ring, no ting. Sending a strictly bonus bonus. Can't we find a, a fresh way out of this? He could hug him. Hug him? Yeah. Tell him they're long lost brothers and make him his partner. Morgana, you did it again. No, no, she, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't know my way around the kitchen. And she says, buy a map, then we'll talk. Morgana, too, writer's not. You know, she's that good. Works. She's I'm great. Right. Right. Dexter and everybody who left here in the hearse used to work with my dad back at WOWA in Peoria till the FCC scandal broke it up. Scandal? Yeah, and their bathrooms was just as dirty. Coming in. With Comic Perspective on Comedy Net. We are here at the Laugh Lounge hanging out with the one and only Mr. Wally Collins, one of my very, very favorite stand up comics. Wow. Yeah, you are. Really? Yeah, you are. You know, come on, you know I adore you. Well, I didn't think you were going to say in public. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Well, now it's official. Well, you, you don't remember favorites. when I would walk up, you were talking to people, like, like, no, this is Wally Collins, you speedy host of Stand Up Stand Up. You don't remember when I would do that? <laughs> yeah, then I was like, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant it. I meant it. No, well, that's very great. flattering. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. Why am I here? Why are you here? Yeah. Well, they asked me what I wanted to do for Comedy Net, and I'm mm -hmm. like, well, I just want to talk to my friends on camera. Okay. And have fun. And have okay. a conversation. So here we are. All right. So, Hope you guys enjoy this. Yeah. Well, no, no. <laughs> tell me what's going on with you. I mean, professional, family. What do you want to talk about? Oh, man. We could profession. I mean, I can talk comedy forever. Well, then let's talk comedy forever, oh, man, because we have plenty of time. Uh, Wally, thank you so much You're welcome. for coming down, ladies and gentlemen. Wally Collins, the fantastic Wally Collins. Fantastic. If, yes, fantastic. I mean it. <laughs> and I also want to thank the Laugh Lounge for letting us come in and chit chat today. And my name is Leanne Lord for Comedy Net, and this is Comic Perspective. What did you have for dinner? Last night I had a bowl of refried, refried beans. I had a bowl of petrified granola. I had a bowl of stale marshmallow Easter chicks. I had a bowl of freshly made pasta tossed with grilled chicken, crisp broccoli and red peppers, and a creamy Parmesan Caesar sauce. It was... It was one of those new Lean Cuisine bowls. Do something good for yourself with new fresh-tasting bowls from Stouffer's Lean Cuisine. It's not just lean, it's cuisine. I've always considered myself a pretty knowledgeable sports fan. That was until recently. They finally got those college football rankings down to a science. <laughs> I was... He was talking sports out of his... Ignorance, really. Boy, that Vince Young turned out to be a bust, huh? <laughs> I didn't know that by watching ESPN News, I could get up-to-the-minute sports news 24 hours a day. So now when I talk sports, I do it right.